Well, absolutely tragic news to report. This was just hours after celebrating the national championship. Georgia Bulldogs offensive lineman Devin Willick died suddenly at the age of 20. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second. And uh, he was not the only one. Uh, first guys, if you could, if YT lets you try and hit the like button for me, very important. Also, please share the video, help us get around those algorithms, hit the bell, subscribe and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, again, this was just hours after the Georgia Bulldogs went ahead, uh, on becoming two time national champions. Uh, this was 2:45 AM and this was in Athens, Georgia. Devin Willick, 20 years old, was the passenger in an SUV along with Chandler LaCroix, who was one of the members of the recruitment staff for the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, they were traveling in an SUV in the outer lane when it went off uh, the side of the road, ended up hitting two telephone poles and several trees. Willick, again, was the passenger uh, while LaCroix was in the driver's seat. Now, Two others were involved in this as well. Uh, those people are said to be injured, although in stable condition. Devin Willick reportedly died there at the scene from the car accident while LaCroix was transferred to a local hospital close by, but later uh, died from her injuries. Uh, incredibly sad, unexpected, definitely. Uh, head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs has chimed in and released the statement as well, just letting everybody know. Uh, they just can't believe this. I mean, here they were. They just won. They just celebrated winning the national championship. And now Devin is no longer here. Chandler is no longer here. Um, all the nicest things in the world to say about Devin. It's someone who's just starting off, or just as a sophomore, 20 years old. Um, who knows where he could have went. Uh, from here, but just absolutely terrible. Please keep the families in your prayers at this time. Tributes have already begun to pour in for both Devin and also Chandler. Uh, pray that God would just be with them and, and bring them peace and comfort right now. Uh, the whole team as well. Um, you don't want to see something like this take place. Um, you know, we live in a fallen world and sometimes we don't always know why things like this happen. Also, too, we don't know the details on the crash as well. That is still being investigated right now, so we don't know what was involved at all, but um, you know that, that'll all get sorted out, and we'll find out in time. But you know, what I want to do right now, this is something I do on all my videos, is it's part of my ministry outreach, is that I offer people hope. And that hope can be found in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You know, we are living in the last days. You know, if you take a look at the world around us right now, it's as if we are living in the days of Revelation, in the book of Revelation in the Bible. You want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do leave it, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so if you're watching this video right now and you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways again, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Prayers once again going out to the families of Devin Willick and also Chandler LaCroix. That God would just be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.